Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Lubojax. In this video I'm going to show you how can you replace the connector for a LiPo battery in a perfect way. So let's get started. So for this purpose we need your uh, new connector for the uh, battery. You need soldering paste. You need solder, the actual solder. Heat shrink sleeves about 15 millimeter this is a 12 millimeter heat shrink and you need a third hand this is sold on eBay for five to ten dollars and that's it so let's get started cutter uh, we will what we do is we just slowly cut here nicely small line just go like that and then go for the black as well then just rip it with your nails fingers like that so this will go in and then pull it with your finger now this is done I'm using the third hand here to hold this for me and then simply let me clean my soldering iron as you can see it's cleaned quickly just hold it for a few seconds and this is done be careful this wire sh should not touch the other wire so I'm just releasing this, bringing it back, so, and then apply gently, and this is removed. Very careful not this one to touch, let's see, it's far away, so no danger. We just insert this here. This is done. Still it's not touching, be careful. That's the important part. This side is uh, labeled as plus. So you can see plus. That's already clear. If you don't know that the one that has flat is the plus, not the round one. But don't worry, just look here, plus, and then hold this. Give it to the third hand. Now let's apply a little uh, flux. I'm applying a little flux into the third hand so it can be soldered easily just apply it a little flex and that's it so now when you solder this we want this one to be there so using the third hand I'm giving it to the third hand and then closing it so we make sure that it reaches okay put it in a perfect way so so you see here I just put it this way this now I'm clearing my soldering iron just apply That's it. So this piece is done. So as you can see this has been soldered perfectly. Now let's go for the next piece for the negative lead. Same way apply a little flax. So the flax is applied. Give this to the one of the hand and then adjust it until this just stays there it should not need any move or okay so I'm applying a little more that's it 
Now, if you can see here, this has been applied and fully. So, now uh, we can put the heat shrink forward and then apply the. Now you can just apply some whatever heat method you have, but I have the heat gun here, so I'm using this um, heat gun. Okay, so this is the result, as you can see, it has been soldered perfectly. Uh, thank you for watching, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't so far.